from history. Greetings, my dear friends, and welcome to another whimsical tale of Weirdos from History, a delightful dish of deliciously demented drama. Today's tale of titillating trivia introduces us to the wacky world of William Walker, also known as the Grey-Eyed Man of Destiny. Now gather round, my peculiar pals, as I regale you with the strange sergeant of this ambitious American adventurer. With his eerie grey eyes, William Walker was born in 1824 in what was once the wild frontier town of Nashville, Tennessee. Like many a young lad of his day, he was a bit of an overachiever. By age 25, he obtained degrees in both medicine and law. But alas, dear friends, the mundane pursuits of medicine and law could not hold his wandering gaze. You see, Mr. Walker had a fervent fantasy for filibustering. Now, dear viewers, don't confuse that term with today's politicians talking their adversaries into submission. No, no. Instead, our fantastical filibustering fiend desired nothing more than to establish English-speaking colonies in Central America. Onward and southward, our hero goes, leaving audiences wide-eyed with wonder. In 1853, Mr. Walker seized control of the Sonora region in Mexico with a band of 45 merry, misguided misfits. He dared to declare his self-appointed kingdom the Republic of Sonora. Alas, to no one's surprise, it was not a rousing success. Undeterred by the folly of his first expedition, our tenacious grey-eyed protagonist set his sights on another land ripe for misadventure. Nicaragua! In 1855, he and his ragtag troop of 60 filibustering fellows were invited, through a whirlwind of politics and deceit, to join the Nicaraguan Civil War. William Walker swiftly hatched a plan most cunning. He took control of the capital, declared himself president, and promptly reinstated the ghastly practice of slavery, accounting for his infamous nickname, the Grey-Eyed Man of Destiny. Alas, the sinister shenanigans of our ambitious adventurer could not go unchallenged. He soon found himself facing adversaries from all corners, like some macabre game of chess. Surrounding Latin American countries banded together, united by a righteous rage against this valiant villain. Enduring a veritable smorgasbord of skirmishes and sabotage, we now find our morally ambiguous anti-hero imprisoned by the British in 1860. Astoundingly, he escaped. Yet, our story finds its fitting finale when, upon return to Central America, William Walker is apprehended, tried, and ultimately dispatched to the great filibustering fiesta in the sky by the Honduran government. There you have it, my cherished connoisseurs of kooky characters, the twisted tale of the grey-eyed man of destiny, forever etched into the annals of history as one of its most peculiar players. Before you venture into the recesses of weirdos from history, let me beseech you, my dear friends, please do bless this channel with the delightful dance of your fingertips, a like, a comment, or perhaps, if your dark heart desires, a subscription. Farewell until our next rendezvous with the past peculiar personalities.